Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, another crappie. Look at this. Look at this school. Alright, so it's gonna be one of those days, huh? I mean, this is just nuts. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today I am out on the hard water once again filming a video for you guys. Super pumped to be out here. As you can tell, I'm out here in a sweatshirt. The sun's shining. It is beautiful. So in Wisconsin, it got extremely cold. As you know, we were ice fishing first week of November. And now all of a sudden we've gotten some rain. We've gotten some 40 degree weather days. And now today I think it's like 38 and sunny. So it has started to warm up, which is really awesome because we already have the ice. So now we're getting the warm weather to ice fish. So that's pretty cool. Today I'm out here by myself and I'm gonna be doing a little challenge video for you guys. So a lot of people, when they go for panfish, they're curious, do I bring plastics or do I bring live bait? Today I'm gonna to try to prove which one is better. I'm gonna do a live bait versus plastics challenge see which one can catch the most panfish and the biggest panfish so that's going to be my goal today i kind of wish i brought the auger because it kind of looks like i got a lot of ice out here on this lake specifically but either way i'm going to start chiseling and we are going to test out this challenge and see which one works better so stay tuned guys real quick though before the video starts i just want to say thank you everyone for watching our channel the last couple uploads have been doing extremely well. We have not uploaded for multiple months. I think our last upload before ice fishing season was in August and this is a really good welcome back. So thank you everybody who is watching and enjoying the ice fishing. We're gonna keep on pounding them out and it's gonna be a hell of a year. So anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. I'm gonna start chiseling and we're gonna get on top of some fish. So stay tuned, let's go do it. So first things first. Can't do any fishing unless I have some holes chiseled. So I'm gonna go ahead, chisel my first hole, check to see how the ice is after all that rain that we got. And it seems to be pretty freaking good. I'm thinking the next time I come out here, I'm gonna have to put this chisel away and I'm gonna have to uh, break out the auger. Put the deucer in the first hole see if we can mark something and yep we already got a mark on the bottom so what I'm gonna be starting out with is I'm going to be starting out with just a little tungsten jig and I'm gonna be starting with a plastic now I'm going to just give each one about a half an hour and then I'm gonna flip-flop between plastic and live bait and just kind of see which one the fish are liking more which one gets the bigger bites and uh, so on so go ahead and drop down on the very first hole and just kind of get an idea to see if they're biting and what's even down here all right we got two marks they're both raising all right that did not take long at all seems like a bluegill yes yes it is very, very beautiful first bluegill of the day on that soft plastic. I don't even know what it is, honestly, but I know it's red and I know that bluegills like it. So first bluegill of the day, I'm gonna get a release on him. Come on, we're gonna see if we can get another. There we go. Another one. Oh, crappie. Okay, so we're getting a mixed bag here. This time it's a crappie, not very big, but these fish are down there and they're extremely aggressive. Get a release on that little crappie. See it? Drop this back down here, see if I can get one of those big marks to raise up. Oh my God. That is insane. I barely had it down there. Okay, I must be on a school of crappies because bluegills would not be hitting like that. Not a super size, but you know, decent little crappie. They are all sorts of fired up, holy cow. Honestly, the way that these fish are biting right now, I don't know how well live bait's going to work. I know it's gonna get fish, but when you get fish that are this aggressive, you are not gonna have time to get live bait on after every single catch because chances are when they're this aggressive, 
you're going to get them where they take your bait and you don't want to sit there and have to retie every single time so the plastic is nice because like you saw right there i caught that fish and bam i can drop right back down on top of the school and i'm literally keeping it like six seven feet up above them and these guys are crawling up to it like just flying up oh just ripped that one's face off they are flying up to it though well and just like that that school is completely gone. So I'm gonna pick back up. I'm gonna walk over to a different hole, see if I can find them. So I just went out to one of my deeper holes that I had just outside of the mark. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, they're deeper. They're deeper. Oh, another crappie. Okay, so like I was saying, or trying to say, is that I went out I don't know, maybe, holy cow, dude, get back in there. I pushed out about 15 feet out to where I was jigging in that last hole, and I just found a ton of suspended crappies. Like, look at this. Look at this school. Oh my god. All right, so it's going to be one of those days, huh? Yeah, I don't know how well... The live bait is gonna work today just because I don't think I'm gonna have time to catch these fish and to keep on putting live bait on because like as soon as I get it down there and I'm keeping it like really really far up ahead of them and these fish are just coming up and absolutely destroying it just a massive school of crappies I'm gonna spend little to no time. I'm just gonna keep on dropping it down and seeing if I can pick off as many as possible before the school leaves. I mean, this is just nuts. One after the other. This is what everybody wants when you go fishing. All right, I'm gonna drop down and I'm just going to catch a few more fish on this plastic and then I'm going to switch over to the live bait and just see if it makes a difference with size or if I get more bites. But I don't think I'm going to be getting more bites because I'm getting a bite every single drop down with this plastic. But maybe if I put on the live bait I can intrigue a bigger fish to bite. So, I'm going to get this guy off. He stole my plastic. I'm kind of curious if I just drop this down right now, just my tungsten jig. Do you think I can get a fish? I'm going to send it down and just see how aggressive this school is. Will these fish hit just the tungsten jig? All right, the answer is yes. The answer is yes. These fish will hit just the tungsten jig. If I look, take this out, this is what I'm using. A tungsten jig that's ladybug color on the back, and that crappie just hit it. So, with that being showed right there, I really don't think it matters what I am sending down to these fish right now. Because they are so aggressive that they are literally, I just had another one just nibbling on a jig. They're so aggressive right now that they're not even caring what I'm sending down. Like this one's just going to hit. It just lifted up on a freaking jig. There's not even a plastic on this. Like, come on, dude. Look at that. Decent freaking bluegill. And all it is is that jig right in its mouth. All right, so that's going to be the last one that I'm going to use for plastics or just a plain jig. I'm going to put on the waxies, the live bait, and see if I can get a bigger fish. Go ahead, put this baby on just like so. Send it down. And how fast do you think I get bit when I put this down? All right, that did not take long at all. What are we going to have here? Bluegill or crappie? Crappie. All right, so live bait works. Got another crappie. Real test is, did he take my wax worm? Let's find out. 
No, he did not. Okay. So, I will drop that back down right away. See if I can catch another fish on this wax worm. Because the big issue I thought I was going to have was being to replace the live bait every single time after every fish. Oh my god, this school is just insane. Another freaking crappie. This is just nuts. Alright, I'm going to send my jig down one more time with the live bait. I'm going to catch a few more fish. Hopefully one of these can be a big one. And then I'm going to finish up this video and give you guys my opinion on what I like more, live bait versus plastics. Let's see if I can get one to come hit it. And I did. Oh my god. These fish are so aggressive right now. It's insane. And like I said, this is one of the things that I've been noticing with live baits is that the fish have been getting a little bit smaller and that is proof right there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to unhook this guy and then I'm going to bring out the big camera and talk to you guys kind of what I thought about today's experience. Alright you guys, so that is going to do it for me today. Today's bite was absolutely amazing. I got on top of so many bluegills and so many crappies that I didn't even know what to do with myself. Definitely by far the best jigging bite of the year so far for me on the hard water. Now I didn't get anything of true size, you know I caught a couple bluegills that were nice, maybe a few crappies that were pretty nice, but the numbers were just through the roof. Now I thought going into today's challenge video that you know there was going to be a clear winner between plastic and live bait. And it turns out it didn't matter what you had on. It didn't matter if you even had anything on at all. I was catching fish with just my jig. So honestly, I'm going to say if you go out and you try pan fishing, I would bring both at all times because you never know if they're going to bite on plastics or live bait. They both have their advantages. You know, the live bait can get more of the finicky bite. You know, if they're not biting super aggressive, the live bait is going to help intrigue those bites. Now, plastics, on the other hand, are nice because they're harder to take off for the fish and you can just keep on dropping it down and pounding those fish but today like i said it did not matter if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because we're going to be pumping out as many videos as possible this ice fishing season and so on i'm really having a good time out here the fishing has been tremendous the ice conditions are really good this early i still can't even believe we're not even to thanksgiving yet and I've already been on ice for like two weeks. That's just absolutely insane. So again, guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. Make sure you guys comment down in the comment section if you want to know anything, you know, how I do my fishing, where I fish, just any questions that you guys have, leave it down in the comment section below. I will try to do my best to answer everybody. It is getting quite cold out here. You know, I was wearing the sweatshirt, but now it is dropping below freezing temperatures. So I'm gonna get my stuff. I'm gonna walk to my truck and I'm gonna get out of here. So tight lines guys from Men to Be Edits.